There's none over here. Oh. I swear these never work. Just kidding. It disappeared. Wow. Disappearing stuff. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Guys. Okay. It's there. Yay. Disappearing stud would be the name of my first year at college. <laughs> <laughs> like boys that like would a just- a murder mystery. <laughs> no, like boys that would just like ghost. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome back to Style Selected. This is a show where we each get to come up with a plan for a room and flex our own personal design skills. Yes, and then the person getting the room makeover gets to decide which vibe and style they like the best. So today we are back with Nikki Damar. We previously made over a room, a set bedroom in their filming house. But today we are here in her own personal apartment. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know who Nikki is, she got started with her twin sister Gabby, but now she has her own channel. She does fashion videos, lifestyle vlogs. And she actually just recently moved back to Pennsylvania. Now she's got her own space, so she really wants to make a dream closet where she can shoot all of her fashion content. Mm -hmm. So let's chat with her. Yes. Hi. Hello. We're back. Awesome, two times a charm. Yeah, second time's the charm, but also the first time was great. So anyways, <laughs> moving on, tell us about this space. Uh, well, it's kind of a sad space. <laughs> I moved here a month ago, mm -hmm. and as you guys know, especially on my separate channel and my Instagram, I'm just like all about fashion, and I don't have a closet to film in or to post in. And if I have a cute outfit on, I can't take a full-length photo for my Instagram. Important. I know. <laughs> Necessities. I know, and I it, it never occurred to me I've never had my own like cool. walk-in closet. I've never had that. Which now we're gonna build <laughs> together. So I guess tell us about the style you want in here. Well, we all know I have a thing for the 70s. I feel like sometimes 70s is heavy. Yes. Especially with the tones, so I like keeping it light. So I definitely want to keep some whites in here, mm -hmm. not go overboard with like the 70s dark tones. Okay. And I want to make this feel like a dressing room in a store. Okay, okay. that's like, fun. <laughs> you know in like a dressing room how like there's somewhere for people to sit. Yes. And then there's somewhere for like the clothing to be hung yeah. up. And like a big mirror, right? Yeah. <laughs> a big mirror. I need a mirror to film in, to take pictures in. Which we've got. <laughs> this Even, one came with the room. Yes. This wood is my aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference between like this room and the one you guys did in our filming house mm -hmm. is that that one was a 70s beach theme, but this I want to be like 70s loft theme. Okay. Okay. Like a New York loft. So yeah. Like 70s meets New York loft. Okay, perfect. I think I have an idea of what I want to do for you. Do you yeah. have a thought? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get to planning and then we'll show you our designs in a sec. It's happening. Okay. Okay, we went to work. We have some designs. I'm really excited about mine. I am excited for this as well. So um, I'll let you start it off, Becky. All right, for my design, I really want to play off that New York loft feel that she really likes, but add in a little bit of 70s to it. I feel like the 70s was all about wood. Everyone had wood paneling in their houses, in their basements. So I want to do a modern twist on that by putting up plywood on the bottom half of all of the walls, and I want to keep them white. I think the white plus the wood will give this really fresh, cool, 70s but still modern vibe to the entire room. So since I think she's gonna be doing some filming in this room as well, I wanna give her a nice little filming corner with like a big faux leather armchair that she can sit on in that nice leather brown color. I'll do a little side table beside it so she has a place to put some things. I feel like lofts are all about layered rugs, so I wanna do a large rug on the bottom, followed by an organic shape that may or may not resemble an animal, but it's faux, so don't worry. Of course, this does need to function like a closet, so I wanna give her some black metal clothing rails. I think the black metal will really mimic pipe, which is very New York loft. And for a DIY, I wanna do some shelving that involves strips of plywood with cinder blocks in between. It's very easy to assemble and looks so effortless because it kind of just sits together, but also very loft, very cool. I know Nikki might already have a mirror, it's still in the box, we don't know what it looks like, but this could potentially go up against the wall, or I did find an awesome black pipe version that we could use as well. Should she pick my design, fingers crossed. And the very last element I want to do is this really cool multi-string light pendant exposed Edison bulb feature in the ceiling. I think all the black cords mixed with the exposed Edison bulbs will actually help to light the room, but give this amazing lofty feel. 
What do you think? I love it. I love the wood. Like this background, like I know this is just holding a mirror. Like I love <laughs> wood. I, I like the layering of the rugs. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of two rugs. I'm not a fan of this carpet. It was kind of something I settled on with this apartment. The only thing I settled on. So I would like to cover this up. As you guys know, we have a lovely little gift <laughs> on the rug. <laughs> It's not from my dog, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna out anyone, but I don't have my dog in here. So I think I know whose little one left little chat over there. Oh my god. I think we can cover that with some rugs and make it stylish. Yeah, I think it's in there. <laughs> it you can tell stuff. it was a wet one that dried up and now it's just stuck and that's nasty. I can't. Okay. What do you mm. got? Moving on from that. So for my space, I want to paint the whole bottom half of the room a great mustard color. I'm gonna bring in that mustard color into the floor using a mustard colored ottoman and also a rug layered underneath that. I wanna do like a vintage style rug that has the beige of the carpet but is a little bit more white to brighten up the space. I wanna do a brick accent wall on one of the walls using some faux brick paneling and this is gonna be white. And in front of that white brick, I wanna do a full wall of shelving that can hold her clothing and any of her accessories. I wanna keep her makeup desk where it is, but I can just add a curtain around it to really frame out that area. And also framing out that area is going to be some plants because plants just really make the space. And of course we need a big mirror in this space and she already has a giant mirror, so I'm gonna put that on one of the walls and um, also bring in a lamp just for some lighting. I really like the 70s vibes from this. Mm -hmm. I really like um, the ottoman you have because I feel like if that was in the center of the room, it would like give that dressing room vibe. Yes. And plus like my friends and boyfriend can like hang in here. Yeah. Or I can just do a 24 hour challenge in here. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I really like the white brick. I feel like it gives that loft vibe, but it's not too heavy and dim and dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. by keeping it white. Mm -hmm. I like the ideas in both, and this happened, I think, last time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, like, indecisive, like, hugely indecisive. This is hard because it's like, this really gives me 70s vibes, and it keeps that lightness I like, but this gives me loft vibes, and it's super cozy. Mm -hmm. So, like, can we make a love child? <sighs> wow, another love child. I, I know like that's hard, but I love both. Yeah, we don't normally, but it's, because you're so 50-50, yeah. and I, I want you to love it. And I love lots of aspects of yours. And that's, yeah, that one's really good too. So I think let us think. We'll see what we can do. I always make your lives difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll work on that, but something I know needs to happen is we need an empty room to get any work done. So can you help us move some things? Of course. We need to get the, all this makeup out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to start through your makeup. Yeah. Okay. And this. I didn't realize my mirror's like locked away. Like you have to hammer it open. And yeah, we brought some tools. Have to figure that out. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We need coffee. <laughs> You got this. Push it, push it hard. Tight, yeah. Push it in like yeah. hard as it yes. is. So you know, well, that's what she said. <laughs> nope, stripping. Push it really hard. There you go. Teamwork, baby. Oh, God. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> that's Should awesome. I try another one? Try one See more. See if I can get it without help? Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Oh, Nailed like it. you really gotta push it. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Wow, good job. You're such a handy queen now. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> it's been a long time. What a cute angle. We love it. We love chin. <laughs> all right, thank you for all of your help. Oh, thank you, guys. And now all you have to do is Go get your hair done and we'll do your room? Yeah. Does that sound like it's a sweet <laughs> deal? I come back with <laughs> better I... hair. I have like bed head right now, threw it up on the head. But I'm gonna come back with a blowout. So next time we see you, your room will be done, your hair will be done. New you, new room. <laughs> new me, new hair. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, clean room. <laughs> okay. So
So we have to figure out a new plan, basically. Yeah. Something that mashes both of our styles together. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we're working on that. So Nikki was honestly super torn about both of our designs, and I agree, they're both really awesome designs, so I think we're gonna hit the drawing board again and see if we can combine both of ours to make something awesome. So the plan is to keep Kelsey's brick wall, but then bring in some of my plywood around the rest of the walls. We're gonna do her yellow ottoman, but then bring in my lighting feature above it. And then I think we can get away with stacking both of our favorite rug choices together. Okay. Sound good? Mm. Cool. It's the next day and it's time to go shopping for Nikki's space. So while we're out, we're grabbing some finished plywood, cut to size, and this is the stuff that's gonna go all the way around the bottom of her room. We're also grabbing some lighting, some shelving brackets, some plants, and a bunch of other decor. So it's the next day and the first thing we want to tackle is bringing in that brick wall. So the pieces we're going to be using for these are actually smaller, more realistic 3D looking pieces as opposed to giant sheets we've used in room makeovers before. We haven't worked with this specific type of faux brick before, so hoping it all goes well. Okay. This I am excited. I know, but this part I'm nervous about, so that's why we're starting with it first. If we can get like the big wall things done first, I think we're in a really good place to bring everything else in. Yeah, it's so weird we're like not painting, but. This is the new paint. It's just textures instead textures. of Textures. <laughs> okay, so these are the brick sheets. Yeah, they are the most realistic brick sheets I could find because I hate it when they look fake. They look so real, but I've never worked with these before, so we're just gonna have to give it our best. Yeah, we are. According to the instructions, they're really easy. They just go up with a bunch, like four screws. Mm -hmm. So if we can just find the wall studs and screw them in, Sounds easy. Then we're good to go. Sounds easy. So our first step in applying this brick is finding some wall studs and we want to drill directly into the wall studs instead of doing plugs everywhere because that takes more time and it's silly. You should just use a stud finder and find some studs. Don't try this at home, kids. This is like, you know those ab things that like jiggle and you yes. get like hold still? Ab twisters. I'm just casually ab twistering and DIYing. So we think that's in a stud? We hope it's in a stud. Okay. Okay, maybe I can find another stud here and then do it. Mm-hmm. Let me swap that for you. Yeah, I'll just be here. Let's play a game. Spin me around 10 times and then ask me to screw something to the wall. No, that sounds like a terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> Although we're loving the look of the faux brick, it's very realistic looking, we're not loving how it's sitting together, but I think we have a solution to fix this. We'll save that for later once we've got the whole wall up. Wow. Wow, it's beautiful. It's pretty nice. <laughs> You're not going as far as to say it's beautiful? <laughs> not yet. It's acceptable. So since the panels aren't sitting exactly flush, we're going to use some putty in order to blend the transition in between the panels. So we have one last column of brick to install, but we actually need to cut it down to make it fit. So we're gonna be using a circular saw and a toothless saw blade to cut it. Now, ideally, if you're in a well-ventilated area like a garage and have a nice table to work on, this would be really easy. But in our case, we have to go outside, find the only outlet we can plug our saw into, and cut it on a little strip of grass. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. So the wall is looking great and it's gonna look even better once we have the shelving up in front of it. But our next step is to move on to adding that plywood around the perimeter of the room. So we got all of the wood for the walls pre-cut at the hardware store which makes installing this so much easier. We also picked up a hole saw which we're gonna use to cut out all the spaces for the outlets and the light switches. Okay, let's see if my outlet hole works. Yeah, baby! 
Beautiful. One down. I love this. This is fun. <laughs> I want circle outlets in all my houses. True. Wait, it sounds like I have multiple homes. I have one. <laughs> The hole saw is a super awesome hack because it makes it so much easier than maybe using a jigsaw to cut out rectangles. Instead, this just fits right on your drill and makes perfect circles. Plus the hole saw gives a really fun, almost 70s vibe as well. I'm loving how this looks. I can't believe how good the grain looks. It's a high quality plywood, although the price for this was so good. It was like $15 a sheet. I love it. I want to do this everywhere now. It's so beautiful. Cool. So. We're almost done. The big things, I think next we'll move on to the closet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to this closet, Nikki didn't want the doors on the closet because then it kind of feels like a closet inside of a closet, which is like just too inception for us. So we're taking off the doors of the closet and then inside we're making some shoe storage by hanging some wall brackets and putting some plywood shelves on top of those brackets. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Do you get paint on you too? Yep. The day of paint one. Rip to my shirt. Cool. I think that worked. But well, what is it? I don't know, Becky. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure our shelves fit her shoes. Wait, wait, that's good. That's vibey. This is giving me so much like store vibes, how it's like inset and then there's all the shelves. She could open up her own store in here. Pop-up shop in her house. It's like a rotating <laughs> shop. Okay, what's next? I think like onto smaller things now, which is great. We can hang the curtain, that cool lighting fixture I want to do. Mm -hmm. Let's do those things. Let's do them. Let's do those things. We found this gold curtain rod from Umbra and instantly fell in love with it. If you guys love this curtain rod or anything else in Nikki's room, we will add the links to the description below so you can shop Nikki's room. But for now, let's move on to hanging up this curtain rod. So next up, it's carpet time. This is always a really fun part in the room makeover process. We have Kelsey's ornate rug choice and my faux hide rug choice, and together they look so awesome layered. While we're here, I think it's helpful to bring in the ottoman and the desk just to see how everything fits together before really deciding on placement. So we're almost finished the room, but we're still waiting on our shelving unit to be delivered. I am going to give the delivery company a call and see what's taking so long. We're supposed to be here this morning and figure out what's going on. Get to the bottom of it. While Kelsey deals with customer service, I am gonna get started on these hanging lights. Really cool. Get these cords out of the way, but I, I picture it. I'm on hold. <laughs> but on the good news, this is looking good. It looks so good. I love it. Apparently I'm trying to set the world record for being on hold, but uh, that's not gonna stop me from helping or like trying to help. I love the look of the cords on the ceiling, but down the back of the wall, not so much. So conveniently, her giant mirror is gonna fit in front of these to hide all of the cables. Since we don't want the cords getting crushed by the weight of this heavy mirror, we're adding these little rubber stoppers on the back to make sure the mirror sits away from the wall a little bit and the cords can hang freely behind it. This looks freaking fantastic. Can't take credit for this mirror, but I will take credit for taking it out of the box. And for styling it with all these other awesome things. It's so good, but we don't have the closet unit yet. It should be here sometime today, like hopefully before we're done and the sun sets. We made her a closet with nowhere to put any clothes. <laughs> well, but it looks good. Let's do some early final touches. Okay.
So the final touches are done, the first set of final touches, but we still don't have our shelving unit. built-in shelving unit finally arrived. I'm so excited. Let's get this thing assembled so we can show Nikki. I can't get over how much it looks like an actual store mm -hmm. meets a New York loft mm -hmm. meets like 70s vibes meets uh, Nikki meets it's so cool honestly like I'm psh, meets a little bit of sorry girls because I love this room me too <laughs> okay I guess let's bring her in oh my god I'm not even ready honestly there's no way she's not gonna love it right I love it oh my god it's okay we just ha we have to show her okay let's go let's do it Nikki don't open I yet. I hate this. This is such a control freak. <laughs> this is the same thing I get on an airplane. All right, you remember what it looked like before? Yeah, it had dog poop on the floor, clothes everywhere, nothing on the walls, disaster, disorganized, horrible. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't look like that anymore. I'm like, I'm so <laughs> bugging out. Like, I'm freaking out right now. Okay, should we just do it? Yeah. I will give you a countdown. Ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. All right, re welcome to your new walk in closet in three, two, one. Don't cry, Nikki. Don't cry, Nikki. <laughs> Guys! Do you love it? Oh, yeah! It's so good. Like, seriously? This is changing the game? This is... Well, how? How do you guys do this? I'm always amazed. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always so amazed. Like, I don't understand. Like, the world needs interior designers because I could never do this, ever. <laughs> so we wanted to give you kind of like that store vibes, right? So we have the autumn in here that you can chill on and this like statement light piece we made, which we love. Mm -hmm. You already saw is your now shoe wall. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, like, I don't even have words. Like, I thought I liked my room in the filming house. Like, mm -hmm. I think this is my favorite room now. And obviously the most statement thing is the entire wall of clothing storage now. It's so mm. practical, but so glam still. Mm -hmm. It's like, plus all your clothes are so like, they pop so much in this room mm -hmm. now. All the yellows and browns, you I love it. You make me really like my closet. Like, I love your you're closet. welcome. <laughs> like, yeah. I was getting sick of my wardrobe, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm so annoying. I buy way too much clothes. You're making me like wanna wear all this stuff again because it looks so cute hanging up. Yeah. Literally a store. Oh, we got some merch on We do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we say this all the time, but this honestly might be one of my favorites. I would love to have this in my home and um, maybe I will one day. A little walk-in closet. That's it. It was a big walk-in closet actually. If you guys love this type of video, we have an entire playlist where we make over even more of your favorite YouTubers rooms. So check that out linked at the end. All right. Well, thank you for letting us take over your closet. I'm not even kidding. Thank you. Like you changed my channel. You really did. You guys videos. changed the Nikki and Gabby channel. We film in the rooms you guys did. Yeah. If you guys are here from the Nikki and Gabby channel or Nikki's channel, make yes. sure you give us a subscribe. Um, we're just going to end it here. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more styles selected, they're linked below. Nikki's linked below as well. And uh, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.